Hello, my amazing <laughs> fans. I'm Sarah from 190. Whoopi Goldberg. Um, today I'm being chased by spiders. As you can see, I'm about to die. But if I can get to my secret little laboratory real quick by placing a bit of redstone, I will be completely protected by Mother Earth under the ground. And as you can see, all the spiders on the top, they can't, they don't know what the cunts, they don't know what to do. Well, whilst they're wondering what to do, I'm down here getting healthier and I'm going to use enderpels to escape so I can get far, far away from these guys. And when I do this, I will be transported immediately to safety. But if you don't want to waste enderpels, well, you don't have to. You could just put the redstone back and we'll come back down and watch this, guys. Um, you want more? You got more! You got a switch as well, guys. If you call right now, you get a free switch. A free lever. So when you take away the redstone, bang! It will close up underneath your feet. Making it completely hidden from the world. And the world hidden from you. So if you want to know how this is built, it's very easy. All you need is four pistons facing either side opposite each other, four blocks apart. You need redstone dust, a few repeaters, some signs, lily pads if you want to make it inconspicuous, and all you need to do is put some redstone repeaters behind these things. Okay, so we need water as well and a lever. And stairs as well if you got them. So what we want to do is build one block up. This is actually where our switch will be, where we place the redstone. For now we'll just use the lever so we know where it is. And we just simply will make sure it works both sides. And send these lines out behind both repeaters. I actually got this design from Skippy6Gaming. You, you might have heard of him. I don't know. I don't know. But check his link. There's a link in the description and on the VIP list. Go check out his channel. Um, I decided to take it a little further with water because I thought it was pretty epic. And I'd like to know how this uh, will actually take place. And it turned out to be a really amazing build. So I had to make a video on this too. So let's just build up around here like this. Oh my gosh, I hope that's okay, Skippy. I hope you don't mind, buddy. But um, yeah, no, I really like this idea. It's not going to be like a zipper like your one, but it will be a hidden pool. And that's what caught my interest the most. So when I open it up like this, you can see all I have to do now is dig a hole straight down to the bottom. And then I can just spin around real quickly, like, in a quickly fashion. And this way I can actually make a room by spinning around very quickly. And now that it's done, we have plenty of room to play. Lots of room for activities. Okay, so let's get out our quartz steps. So I forgot to get them out in the beginning, so let's grab them. We're going to need them later. Okay, so we're going to actually put the signs down now so we can stop water from coming in. So first, let's switch it on so we can find out where it opens. And where it opens, just down one block, you want to whack a couple of signs to stop the water from creeping in. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so now let's get out our bucket of water and place it on the blocks. But before we do that, let's actually put down our quartz steps so you can actually get to the water. So let's uh, place them up like this. Oh yeah, guys, I've, I've gotten to 900 subscribers. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, thanks, thank you. So all I need to do now, guys, is break some blocks like that so you can get up out of the staircase and put those signs back down. There we go, that's pretty cool. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to try and reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. God bless my soul. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. So now I'm just going to put some blocks around the edges like this. So make a bit of a border. I am on a super flat land, so I don't really have much to dig. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm just placing the water down on each block. Keep in mind, you can actually change the shape of this pool. Like on my original, at the beginning of this video, you'll see that the pool's actually larger than this. Um, so yeah, it's very easy to do. You just break blocks. That's all to make it bigger So now you can see you can swim out like so and you're free totally free and All you need to do now is let's get rid of this lever guys We can actually set this up so that we can have a redstone mechanism So that when I place a redstone down on the block it will activate Okay, so this is actually like an escape thing so you can get out real quick All you need to do is connect those two redstones together and bring it out one and then get a dirt block and bring that out one also with a torch on the back. As you can see, it will light up the entire thing. Don't ask me how or why it does this. It just does. So I put a dirt block on the top of that lamp. And then now when I place that redstone dust down, you can see it will activate the doors very quickly. So you have to stand on it and place it and it will suck you down. It will suck you down. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm down here in the secret laboratory where I can heal my wounds 
And also keep in mind, if you want to escape, you might need a chest with a couple of enderpearls. You will need two every time you escape. So that when you come up to the top, you go one, two, bang. And then you just wait and you'll be transported. But if you don't want to waste enderpearls, like I said earlier, um, that's a very easy, simple fix to this. All you need to do is get out a lever. Let's go back down. We just have to find that sweet spot on the roof and put the lever there so that it can activate all the redstone, allowing us to exit. So I don't really know where it is right now, so let's come back up to the surface and have a look, because it's not there. It's not here either, okay. So we're definitely gonna have to have a look. As you can see up the top, the redstone's on the other side. So come back down and simply place it there. And now when I um, click this once, and twice it will open up and I can swim out the top and you can see it's still open so anyone can get in all you have to do is take back that redstone and it will automatically close up well there you go guys I hope you enjoy this and I hope you find it fascinating interesting and useful if you do please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends family and subscribers see you tomorrow